COVID-19 pandemic. We told you about this last week, didn't we? Uh, the event, a uh, notoriously challenging course, saw the deaths at the end of it, by the end of the races, of five five riders. When we talked about this last week, it was three. But since then, a father and son who were taking part in the motorcycle sidecar race at the weekend uh, perished. In all, uh, we're getting on now for 260 plus fatalities since the races began. Uh, well, we know what draws the world's top riders to the starting line, in spite of the risk, don't we? It's a, a thrilling course, I imagine. I've obviously never done it, wouldn't dream of. Uh, but there is an enduring appeal uh, to this course, uh, and the risks are known by the competitors all too well. We're joined by Isle of Man senior TT winner and former British Supersport champion Steve Plater, who commentated on this week's e event. Steve uh, I know we were booked to talk to you last week and you patiently uh, agreed to talk to us today, so thank you. Um, and obviously our thoughts go out to all those who lost relatives, and particularly I found heart-rending, the father and son. It's, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible, but, 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 uh, these are people who know the risks. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's hugely sad for all of the families, not just for uh, the victims of this week, but of course, all of those in the past as well, whether it be during sport or RTAs, anything, you know, it brings back memories to many people, it really does. But yes, um, all the competitors do know the dangers, you know, um, but they always seem to still enter the races and go for gold. Yeah. Uh, I, I know there's, there have been things done, Steve, to improve safety. The, the size of the, of the field is reduced. There's GPS now so that there, if there is a problem, the emergency services can be alerted to it much more rapidly. Uh, are you hearing people say, OK, five deaths over that week, do we need to go a bit further? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's work in progress every year, you know, and with there being, um, there hasn't been a TT for three years, two years off, because of the pandemic, um, there's a new uh, safety management system in operation that will be going uh, for the foreseeable future, of course. And they will be investigating everything that's gone on during the 2022 races uh, and making improvements to the best of their ability. Is, is there something, Steve, in the nature of driving a high-performance motorbike at up to 200 miles per hour on roads which ordinarily are there for, for the public. In, in what way is it different, I mean, beyond the obvious things, in what way is it different from powering around a track? Yeah, it's quite different. There are more, we call it furniture, obstacles. If you make a mistake or crash or have a problem, um, there's a, obviously a big thrill. It's a different discipline to any other uh, course or what, what you would call a short circuit course like your um, Silverstone or Brands Hatch, um, which is a purpose-built facility with runoff areas. So it's quite different. The, the road surface is different also because you have uh, different cambers. There is a crown in the middle of the road. So it's quite different, but it's a different discipline. And it's one that um, people love and want to conquer to uh, tick the box and win in a different style of racing.